welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be trying out a vegan diet for the next 48 hours. Just over a year ago, I actually went vegan for 24 hours and I've also done a video where I tried vegan fast food. I've kind of made a few mistakes. I haven't given it a full proper try. So today I thought for the next three days, I am going to try a fully vegan diet, see how I feel at the end of it. And basically I just want to try it out properly. And of course I thought it would be really interesting and informative to film for you guys. But if I do mess up again or if I do eat something that isn't entirely vegan, I am sorry. I've done as much research as I possibly can. I've googled things. I've looked into things. I am being completely honest I am probably not the best person to ask about veganism just because I don't know as much about it as some other people do I truly am trying my absolute best with this video and I'm gonna try and eat everything vegan But like I said if I do slip up just a tiny little bit I am very very sorry, but like I said, I am gonna try my best I actually went food shopping a couple of days ago for this video But a lot of the fresh stuff has actually gone off. I am now gonna head to Tesco I'm actually gonna go and buy some new fruit and vegetables and then we can start this video properly so i hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started i just went and bought a load of fresh veg and i also bought these corn cumberland sausages and these are the totally vegan ones i'm gonna have these for dinner i'm really excited to try these i've never tried corn meat before for my first vegan dinner i'm gonna be having some of the cumberland corn sausages and then i also bought this mixed vegetable medley to have with it i was gonna have sweet potato fries but i kind of fancy broccoli so i just got this nice little bag which has got some carrots some broccoli some baby corn but this would be just a nice easy dinner to have to kind of start the few days off so i'm going to leave this to cook for like 10 15 minutes then we can give it a try here is my dinner it's really small but i'm honestly not that hungry so i've literally just got two sausages and some of the veg and i also just realized there is some green beans on here as well that i was apparently oblivious to in the other clips please ignore my setup the lighting in the kitchen is so bad right now so i've just come into the living room but obviously we know what the veg tastes like like pretty obvious the carrots are good i fancy some broccoli i think i should have cooked it for a bit longer i'm excited to try these i like i said i've never tried any corn like meat before i'm not kidding oh my god i know what they smell like stuffing they smell exactly like stuffing that you'd have with like your christmas roast dinner or whatever i'm really not sure about this it definitely doesn't resemble a sausage like in the slightest it kind of tastes like stuffing mixed with vegetables and it's got this specific aftertaste of something, but I don't know what it is. The reason I'm probably saying is, oh, I don't like it is because it's the first time I'm trying it. Like, I'm sure if I was eating this a lot and I was having it with, like, maybe mashed potato or maybe even pasta, because I actually really like pasta and sausage, maybe I'd like it more. But I think just initially off the bat, it tastes so different corn sausages i'd give you like a five out of ten so this is my dinner for tonight i'm not gonna lie i probably won't be able to finish the sausages because i'm really not a big fan of them but the veg i'm definitely gonna sit and finish even though i definitely didn't cook it for long enough because i'm not a chef and i'm really trying to learn to cook it is now the next morning and i'm currently in my bathroom because i'm about to do my skincare before i get ready obviously this video is me trying a vegan diet and when i eat cleaner and i don't eat as much junk food i notice a massive massive difference in my skin Skin. and hopefully you guys can actually tell that recently whilst i've been cutting out a lot of junk food my skin has got so much better i used to have such bad skin i would get so many spots and my skin just wasn't clear there was a lot of red patches there was a lot of blotchiness and overall it just wasn't great but recently through many things including changing up my diet my skin has got so much better and another thing that has helped it so much is the luna mini 3 from foreo you guys definitely would have heard me talking about this before i use it every single day in the morning and in the evening and this has played such a big part in clearing up my skin i now actually have the foreo app which has so many incredible features one of which is the find my luna so if you're like me and you travel a lot or you just tend to put things down and you don't really remember where you've put them you can actually use this feature to help you find your device once your device has connected you can actually decide how long you want to cleanse for and the intensity of your cleanse i normally go for around an eight or a nine i think i'm going to go for a nine this morning because i'm feeling extra good and if you are in a rush or you just want a really quick cleanse they also have this new 30 second glow boost mode i then just rinse my foreo before i add the cleanser add a little dollop of cleanser 
into the middle and then I just use this on my face for 60 seconds I use it in circular motions and it just makes my skin feel so incredibly smooth and I just feel really clean after I've used it once I've used it for 60 seconds I will then just rinse my face with some water and pat it dry I have just finished and I've rinsed my Luna Mini 3 clean so as you can see it actually has a silicone brush head so it's super hygienic and it is really really lightweight it also has 12 different adjustable cleansing settings so you can personalize your cleanse to exactly how you want it and once your device is fully charged as well you can actually get up to 400 uses out of it my skin is now all prepped and ready for my makeup so I will leave a link down below so you guys can go and buy one of these if you would like to and learn a bit more about the Freo Luna Mini 3 but honestly I use it every single day and it has improved my skin so much so now I'm gonna finish getting ready and we're gonna go get some breakfast so I'm actually just gonna have a breakfast bar I bought these like two packs of I think they're like naked cereal bars I think that's what they're called we'll go downstairs and we'll have a look these are the bars that I bought they're the naked salted caramel whole food fruit and nut bars and I'm pretty sure that these are vegan they were in the vegan section so I thought these would be really good for my breakfast just for something like quick and easy to grab okay let's give it a try please excuse my messy room I was actually rushing to get ready this morning because we are actually going out and filming another video hence I bought this like super quick breakfast I can literally just have a have on the go it smells really good actually and it's got the same texture of you remember school bars I don't know if any of you used to have them and it's exactly the same texture as that and it really does remind me of that they taste exactly like salted caramel. These also count as one of your five a day, I think I said. Out of anything I've eaten so far, this is definitely the best thing because it just tastes like salted caramel. Like I can genuinely taste it. Breakfast was so good. This is definitely my favourite thing that I've eaten so far. I'm actually going to take one of these to snack out with me whilst I go out. It is a lot, lot later and we've been out the majority of the day and I'm really, really hungry. So I'm going to have a pot noodle. This is one of the Tesco free from milk, wheat and gluten free instant rice noodles. And then I'm also going to have a chicken salad with it. I've got this corn roasted sliced fillet of chicken. I've got some onions, tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce. And then I've also got this free from gluten, wheat, milk and egg mayonnaise. I really have to my best here i'm pretty sure both of these are vegan if they're not i'm really sorry but i really did try my best so lettuce is one thing that honestly if you watch any of my other videos you would know that i literally just hate it like i don't know what it is about it but i just can't like eat it but i'm really gonna try my best i'm gonna lay the tomato on top tomato is so good this is my favourite part. If any of you guys are watching my other videos, you would know I'm literally obsessed. Like, obsessed is actually an understatement with red onion at the moment. So, to be fair, this actually looks really good and really fresh. Look what the onion's doing to my eyes. Oh, my God. This never normally happens to me. Oh, my God. I literally, I eat it. Like, I eat it as a snack and this never normally happens. Mmm. Doesn't really have a smell. It is time for the mayonnaise. Is it going to come out? Oh, there we go. Going to give it a little mix to kind of spread the mayonnaise round. It's got mum's approval, so I'm going to take this upstairs and I'm going to try it now. And then I'm actually going to save my noodles for a bit later when I want a snack. I honestly can't get over how strong the onions are tonight. This is weird. That mayonnaise tastes exactly like mayonnaise. Don't get me wrong, it was a little bit more expensive than normal mayonnaise. I want to say the free from one was maybe like 180. And you could obviously get like mayonnaise for like 40 or 50p from home brand, but it tastes exactly the same. Try some of the chicken. It doesn't taste like chicken, obviously. It's got more of a meatier taste than the sausages did. For all of you that like lettuce and all of you that like salad, this is going to be so stupid. I don't know what it is. Let's give it a try. That went down way easier than I thought. I think it's more the thought of it than the taste. Oh my god, I like it. This is weird. Overall, I'm really enjoying this and I just didn't think I would. The only thing is, I found it was a little bit more pricey, but I would pay that because it tastes really nice. I would rate this salad a good 8 out of 10, which is pretty high coming from me because I really didn't think I was going to like this at all. So it's making me feel really like fresh and really uplifted and like I want to go and have a really productive evening. Is that weird? I don't know. I'm about to go downstairs and make my breakfast. Today, I'm actually going to be having vegan pancakes which in my other vegan video that I made over a year ago, I actually tried to make, but I'm not gonna lie, they were a complete, complete flop. So we're actually gonna try and make them properly today because my others were literally like flat as a pancake. That was meant to be a joke, but like really wasn't funny. Like let's pray these actually turn out decent. We're in the kitchen and first thing I just realized, I'm actually not making pancakes at all. I'm actually making crepes. I was just looking at all of the other vegan recipes and all of them have got baking powder or baking soda. I don't have that. I was obviously reading the recipe for crepes. So I've got my flour and it's said to either use almond milk or soya milk. So I've got this little carton of single soya milk. This definitely isn't the most accurate recipe because... Ooh. 
smells funky. When did this go off? I don't like to measure things. I more like to guesstimate and then mix it and then hope for the best. I feel like if I was vegan, I would probably meal prep a little more and I would definitely have a lot of those breakfast bars that I had yesterday because they were really, really good. I have put in way too much flour, so this is why you should measure things. Here we go. This is more like a pancake mixture, crepe mixture. I've never made crepes before though. I'm very, very happy with that, can't lie. Pancake slash crepe number one. Oh God, it's sizzling straight away. I love watching the mixture sizzle around the edges. I don't know, just making pancakes slash crepes. I keep saying pancakes because I want to tell myself that I got the recipe right even though I got it wrong. Everything was going so well until I flipped it and then half of it like broke off. So I am going to make two. So hopefully I'll get the other one a perfect circle. And then with my pancake, I'm going to have some banana and strawberries, which are my two favorite fruits. Breakfast is done. The first one definitely went more golden brown than this one, but I'm excited to try. They smell really, really good. Just have one of the bananas. I know obviously I've tried fruit before. Mm -mm -mm. Let's give one a go. I'm gonna go for the first one because it looks more like golden brown and crispy. Inside, it looks super, super fluffy and they're actually like big, which I wasn't expecting at all. Obviously the difference between these and normal pancakes slash crepes, you would normally have egg. And I would probably just use normal milk. I have like the blue milk or the green milk. So that's the difference between these and normal pancakes. The texture inside is super like fluffy, but it's not a dry fluffy. I know it's a bit gross, but it's like a wet, fluffy. I can almost taste where the batter might not have been cooked all the way through. But if so, that's my fault. That's obviously not the recipe's fault. When you eat them with a bit of fruit, perfect. I normally have something more with them, don't get me wrong. Like I would normally have like Nutella or maple syrup or something like that. But being a massive pancake slash crepe lover, I like them. I can't really see anything wrong with them. Like if someone gave me these, probably wouldn't notice any difference. It is a little bit later and it's time for some lunch, I think. And last night I was actually meant to have that pot noodle. Then I fell asleep. So I never actually ended up having it. So I'm gonna have that for my lunch today. It's like the free from everything. Basically a vegan chicken and mushroom pot noodle. Sorry about the kettle boiling in the background, but um, this is not what I expected at all i've let it sit for like three to four minutes like it said on the packaging i'm excited to try it this wasn't cheap either i just don't remember it being like a normal pot noodle price these are boiling boiling hot so i'm only gonna have a few at a time because look at the steam coming off them this is what i mean by a i am very very slow it's not egg that it might contain it's chicken at 0.9 percent i know it said chicken on the packaging but i just thought it was like oh i don't know i'm just actually the biggest idiot this is why i said at the beginning of the video if i eat something that isn't completely vegan i'm very sorry i assumed that because it was free from milk wheat and gluten free but then it probably should have clicked in my head that it says chicken on the front i basically just paid a bit too much money for a pot noodle because turns out it isn't even vegan so let's just scrap this it's nice but let's just scrap the idea of that and we'll just have some other snacks. These are the other snacks I got. So I got some lentil chips and they're sea salt flavoured and these are suitable for vegans, lentil. just like it says here. Lentil and then I also chocolate. got some chocolate. I did. I got this bar of white chocolate and it's also suitable for vegans. And this one here wants to try it all with me. I'm going to try the crisps. I just want to get my water because if I don't like it. I already know you're not going to like it. <laughs> Let me try the crisps. And by the way, he has been hurting today. Why? What did you do? Well, I don't... Uh, it's just been hurting all the day. They taste nothing like crisp, but they taste like popcorn. They're very bland, aren't they? Out of ten, what would you give them? Um, I'd give them a six. What would you give them? I'd actually give them an eight. Really? Mm. Do you like them? Mm. That was a surprise. Not as much as a 9 or a 10. So now it's the chocolate. Mmm. What mm. do you think? What would you give that? That was so nice. What would you give that? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? To me, it tastes nicer. It has a beat like dairy milk, but like no. I love white chocolate. Do I let's try a bit. You can try a bit. Right. Oh, no. just one bit. The white mice chocolate you get at cinema, that's what it tastes like. Do you like it? I'll give it to Tam. Really? Yeah. High five. I really enjoyed it. The crisps weren't my favourite, right, but so the chocolate. Should, should I just... It is time for some dinner. So for dinner, I'm going to be making a pasta bolognese type thing, but basically just pasta with sauce. So I've got some free from gluten, wheat, milk and egg pasta. This is completely vegan pasta. And then I've also got a vegan sauce. And this is a tomato and basil pasta bake sauce, even though I'm not making pasta bake, but basically same thing. I've then also got some sweet corn. I've got some mushrooms. I've got some spring onions and I've also got some 
some normal onions and tomatoes as well. Also, just to help you guys out, I actually bought all of my stuff from Tesco, of course, where else would I go to get my stuff? But they actually had an entire aisle, which was called the free from aisle. And that actually has like a ton of food and everything like that, that is free from wheat, free from gluten, free from dairy, everything like that. Some of the stuff down that aisle is not suitable for vegans. But if you do want to know if it is suitable for vegans, it will literally just say on the packet, like a green circle with a V in it. I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but I was really trying to get everything that is 100% vegan. So like I said, I know it's self-explanatory, but it says it there. And then it also says it here. My pasta is currently cooking on the hob. And whilst it cooks, I'm actually going to cut up all of my vegetables for my sauce. I've got tomatoes. I've got mushrooms, spring onions, actually some of my favorites. I really feel like these are really underrated. Comment down below if you like onion, just because it's actually like my obsession at the moment. And if you do, what is your favorite type? Do you prefer spring onion? Do you prefer a red onion? Do you prefer white onion? Just like, what's your preference, you know? I do have to say though, from eating this stuff for the last couple of days, it has genuinely made me feel so much better. I know I love my McDonald's and I know I love my takeaways, but I genuinely am making a difference with my diet and I really am noticing it. And I feel like a lot of you are noticing it as well, especially in my skin. Mushrooms, mushrooms are ridiculously good. I'm not gonna have too many though. Pasta is cooking on the hob and then I've just finished cutting up my vegetables. So I cut up like six or seven mushrooms, a few tomatoes, got my spring onions. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave now as well obviously not in this container let's not remind ourselves of when i put a metal spoon in the microwave that was just an absolute idiot move the pasta sauce is in so i'm just going to add all of the other bits and bobs into here and just let this cook i love how i'm now a cooking channel like i'm pretending to know how to cook but you know what these videos are actually helping me get better at my cooking so like when i move out in whenever a couple of years whatever i'm going to be better and i'm not just going to order takeaways all the time i'm actually going to cook This actually looks and smells incredible. We have got my dinner here. Let's give it a try. I'm very excited for this. I'm gonna have some of the sweet corn first because the pasta is boiling. Sweet corn's so good. It genuinely upsets me that I was missing out on sweet corn for so long because I only tried it for the first time in my vegan fast food video. Time for some of the pasta. It smells really nice. I'm honestly not kidding when I say it tastes identical to like my normal pasta. The sauce tastes no different. It just tastes like a normal pasta baked sauce. There's a slightly weird aftertaste and I can't determine whether it's from the sauce or the pasta. I'm pretty sure it'll probably be from the sauce. When you have the tomatoes in it, that is incredible. I'm going to have a bit with some of like the tomato, the onion. I'm going to have a bit with it all in, you know. This is amazing. Oh, oh my God, just dropped sweet corn on my floor. I'm living for this dinner. I feel like if I was to go vegan, this is definitely a dinner that I would opt for more often than none like i love pasta i'm a massive lover of pasta anyway so jump more towards this if i was actually vegan dinner was so good i really enjoyed that but i really want to have some dessert to finish this video off and i know that ben and jerry's have recently brought out or maybe it's not so recent i'm not sure a completely vegan ice cream and i saw it in tesco the other day so i don't know why i didn't buy it but it was like peanut butter and something like peanut butter and cookies or i'm not too sure but i'm gonna go to tesco now and i'm gonna buy it i've just come out of tesco's and it says vegan on the lid and it's peanut butter cookies non-dairy ice cream we're home and with the ice cream and it smells literally like peanut butter wow that is pure peanut butter that's crazy that this is vegan and it has no like dairy in it that tastes to me exactly like normal ben and jerry's ice cream that is the end of me trying a vegan diet for 48 hours i really hope you guys have enjoyed overall i've honestly really enjoyed it the food made me feel so much more fresh and just better like i'm up doing stuff today way earlier than i normally would because i feel better in myself so it definitely has made me rethink my food options and of course as well my skin feels so much better to so make sure to go down below in the description box and look all about Foreo. Other than that, I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up and I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye.